flexibility and the options that are available to the sure. United States of America uh, in dealing with these uh, these foreign problems sure, and sure. crises. And, and as long as we remain a major debtor nation, we will not carry the weight in the world that Ronald Reagan did. Well, that's right. And just to qualify what I was saying so it's clear, obviously they're, they're consciously cloud and piven, domesticate the public, centralize the power, give favors to insiders, pick winners and losers. We know the big city mafia Democratic Party disease uh, that's the worst out there. The Republican disease you know, of the neocons is bad, but I mean, there's nothing worse than this, this group. Who, they're not even socialists like they claim. They're just gangsters. I'm saying there, there's an amateurism that I see coming through in the recklessness of, of what they're doing. Sure, they have a method of the madness. I'm just seeing the playboy nature of it. And, 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 and I'm trying to quantify what I'm saying. There's just something very creepy about a bunch of gangsters up there running the American empire and very frightening. It, it, it is frightening uh, because they can not only uh, waste the, the great legacy that we have in this country, but the very continued existence of us as a major nation is at stake. I mean, it could not, Alex, be, be more serious. Uh, and here again, that's why it's so important for you to continue to be out there bringing this message, why, uh, to follow up on a point you made earlier, why it's so important for citizens and voters all across this land, whatever state they live in, whatever congressional their district uh, they're in uh, to support uh, my candidacy because uh, you know just like there are members of Congress and candidates from other parts of the other parts of the country that I support uh, I need the support of Americans from all over the country to go to barcongress.com to help us out because the votes that I take the positions that I take will help Americans all across this great land similarly uh, Ted Cruz I don't live in Texas my mom does, uh, but uh, I support him, uh, even though I'm not in uh, in his district in the state of Texas. Exactly. Let me expand me. on how important this is, folks. Bob yep. Barr said everything Ted Cruz is saying 15 years ago uh, or 20 years ago. And it's just that back then the dinosaur media was still dominant. And so he could barely get on CNN, you know, get on Fox sometimes. So the message, people weren't ready to hear the, you know, the, the, this libertarian constitutional, truly conservative, uh, common sense message. And Ben Bob Barr was popular, but just not iconic. I'm telling you, you get back in Congress now, uh, it'll be like having another Rand Paul, another Ted Cruz, but it's like bringing back, you know, Babe Ruth, you know, uh, you know, uh, Back to life, basically. And well, don't 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 get carried away, Alex. I'm, <laughs> uh, I'm I'm liking too much of what you're saying there. Don't get too carried away. I mean, uh, <laughs> no, I'm got, serious. You, you you're going to be in there with some 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 outstanding Americans that we need to continue to support. No, no, but uh, I mean, you, and, uh, Ron Paul. Exactly. I'm just saying, Ron Paul never got his due when he was there until the end, and then mm -hmm. he and then he became a rock star of liberty. That's what we need. And I'm saying we need to get you back in Congress to be a major leader. And, and the zeitgeist is there. The climate is right. I mean, I'm not just putting, you know, perfume on this thing. I, I'm sure that's why you know to throw your hat in the ring. If you get in there, you're going to really be able to have a bully pulpit and really get in there and do some filibustering, uh, you know, to expose what's happening. And one of, one of the, uh, it might be a minor point to some people or inside the beltway, so to speak, but it's also very important uh, for people to recognize that when I do go back to the Congress uh, in the House, I keep the eight years of seniority that I accumulated earlier, which is extremely important to do what you just said, and that is to get things done to move our agenda forward up there. Oh, it's incredible. Yeah, folks, if you study Congress, Bob Barr back in, that is, it, it, and, and then to help formulate more leaders, more libertarian patriots to just take this country back. I mean, we can do it if we get behind people like Bob Barr, folks. So again, go to uh, Bob Barr's congressional website. We're going to put it back on the screen for folks, and I'm going to give you that URL. Uh, it, it is absolutely essential that people go there. Uh, Congressman, t tell folks how they can go to your website. Just uh, it's a very simple uh, www.barcongress b a r r congress dot com barcongress dot com. Can't miss that, I tell you. And um, we're we're out of time. You got to promise to come back soon to talk about all the other issues. A selfish question: Whatever happened with the lawsuit? Because I know you got the intel that Matt Drudge, Alex Jones, Infowars dot com, you know that we were being demonized on these lists. 
uh, and they were trying to declare national security and stuff. Uh, did we ever find out what the TSA is up to? That that case, I mean, it's, it's like the old, the old case in uh, in in Bleak House uh, by Charles Dickens, Jarndyce v. Jarndyce. It just drags on for generation after generation. We're still engaged after about three years of litigation uh, with uh, the FOI trying to get the uh, the information on uh, the uh, what the what the TSA did uh, three years ago. As I think it was right around Thanksgiving time. So well, I know we'll you've got to. The bottom of it. I know you've got to go soon. But if you can do just five more minutes with us on the other side, uh, Congressman Barr, I want to uh, talk about the NSA. Talk about how we stop that. Talk about how you think we defeat this this security theater that is the TSA and other issues with former Congressman Bob Barr. We're going to put back in Congress. It is so important, ladies and gentlemen, you can nitpick people all day long, but I mean, Bob Barr, compared to Nancy Pelosi and people like that, is the polar opposite of those traitors. And, and we cannot use strong enough rhetoric because these people are scum. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com in the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filters today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Resistance to tyrants is obedience to God. It's Alex Jones. You can run on for a long time. Folks, I get excited about beating the tyrants. And, and, you know, I've had Bob Barr on many times and haven't ever really gushed like I'm gushing now. I, I was just remembering all the stuff he did, actual legislation, actual police state stuff he stopped, actual FBI police state stuff he stopped, CIA stuff he stopped. And uh, listen, we barely beat those gun confiscation bills. 
and all the garbage that Obama had in the Senate. If it wasn't for Ted Cruz and Rand Paul, it would have passed. And if it wasn't for a few people like Walter Jones and uh, folks like Ron Paul and uh, Amash and all those people in the House, we would have lost. We, we, are, we are inches from losing, okay? But we're inches from winning. And so, I mean, I, this is a war. I mean, my whole life, okay? Because my children, three children, two daughters and a son, they don't have a future. And my family's been here since 1620, both sides, on the Mayflower, okay? I mean, I'm all in for America. And it. people watch football games and want their team to win, and they get upset about it. This is 100 times that, and that's the attitude we've got to have here. I mean, I'm in it to win it. That's why I'm aggressive, because we've got to get people out of their days. And so I start talking to somebody like Bob Barr, and I was getting him on about the NSA and stuff, and who was running for Congress, and it kind of clicked. Wow. Think about what it's going to be like to have him back in there it's going to be explosive. The climate has shifted. There is a tide in the affairs of men when taken at the flood leads on to fortune. Shakespeare's Julius Caesar. But our fortune isn't money and power. Our fortune is a future. Our fortune is saving this country and the world. I mean, that's the stakes. And, and Bob Barr, I mean, I, it sounds sensational, but if the shoe fits, wear it. I mean, I think that's where we are historically. I think people should really understand the stakes. What are the stakes right now? You were telling me off air, you're excited, you're in the lead, you need to stay in the lead, you're probably going to win, uh, but people need to get behind you and that you are going to knock heads. Repeat what you said, and then where are we historically? Well, the one thing, I've been called a lot of things over, over the years, uh, particularly by the, the liberal media. Uh, but one thing I've never been called is a member of the establishment. Uh, I live to shake up the establishment because the establishment uh, seeks to exert, exert control over individuals. And that's the one word that always comes to my mind in talking about Washington. It's all about the big C, control. Uh, and I am excited about uh, about running. We're, we are in the lead, but we need to get your listeners and uh, our supporters, wherever they are, uh, excited and motivated uh, and active because you know you can be in the lead one day and not in the lead the next day and I need to stay in the lead in order to get back up there to shake things up in Washington. Yeah, you know, I don't want to say it'll be fun to shake things up in Washington, but Alex, it will be, uh, to get back up there. I mean, I remember 16 years ago uh, to the day uh, I was on the floor of the, of the Senate, of the Senate uh, arguing uh, to, uh, to remove President uh, Clinton from office. I mean, that's, uh, that's the kind of drive, that's the kind of commitment, that's the kind of backbone that we need up there, willing to take on all comers. Yeah, because let's just say it. I mean, a lot of people died that went up against Clinton. A lot of airplanes blew up. A lot of people got shot in the head five times and, and it does take backbone to try to impeach somebody uh when you're going up against gangsters like this and we've got to get rid of the of the clinton mafia and i think what you're hinting at is if we put you back into congress you are going to start investigating uh bringing uh charges uh of impeachment uh, up in the house alex uh i was uh, i was with uh, some folks just recently and uh Pulled out, of, pulled out of a file in my office, the uh, the House resolution, the uh, House resolution that I introduced on November 5th of 1997. That was the very first official inquiry of impeachment uh, filed uh, against Bill Clinton. Uh, and that was mine. And at, at the time, I think I had 18 co-sponsors was all in, in November of 1997. And what I did is I took that, uh, took that document uh, figuratively uh, kind of dusted it off, uh, added a little bit of language to it, and darned if it doesn't sound pretty good with uh, Barack Obama's name in there. Oh, man. So I think it's safe to say if you get back in Congress, the evidence is already there. You're going to start looking into the uh, inquiry uh, to uh, begin uh, getting the co-sponsors for indicting the president in the House, and I guess he'll be tried in the Senate. I, I think it really has come to that. Not a, it's not something I like to say when I left the House before, after the, after we impeached uh, Clinton. Uh, you know, my hope was that we would never have to go through that process again. 
but we do. Uh, we do need to stand up for the rule of law. We do need to stand up for proper separation of powers. And we do need to uh, stand up and tell a president we have an attorney general that won't do it. Uh, we need uh, people in the Congress who will stand up and say, Mr. President, you are not above the law. You cannot ignore the law. You cannot simply violate sure. the law, violate the Constitution, because from a policy standpoint, you deem it appropriate to do so. We don't operate that way in America, and you are not.